And so um, we're just going to pass over now to Owen for a couple of minutes, and he's going to tell you a little bit about his experience in DCU. Hi, everyone. So my name's Owen. I'm in my third year of the Bachelor of Education at the moment. And having been a student ambassador for a couple of years, I sort of get, I know a lot of the common questions that people will ask about primary teaching. And one of the biggest concerns people tend to have is about Gaelga. I know it's, oh, look, right on time. Um, so if you want to send that question on the Pubble, just because it's an individual answer to a question, uh, which I sent the link to already, I'll send it back in in a minute. But a lot of people are worried about Irish and I'm just, I'll, I'll try and I suppose alleviate some of those worries now that it's not like the leave insert. There's not really a focus on rote learning, on learning stuff off, on learning about poetry and stories and stuff. It's really focusing on building your confidence and your competence with the language. Uh, so in your first semester, so when you come in before Christmas and first year, all of the lectures are focused on improve, all the Irish lectures are focused on improving your own confidence and competence within the language. There's not going to be an inquisition about your language or anything like that. It's about building you up. If you get that entry requirement, you'll be more than capable of uh, of succeeding within the Irish classes. Then afterwards, you still look at your own Irish and improving your language, your spoken Irish, your grammar, everything like that, as well as how you can teach kids Irish. You also go to the Gaeltucht twice uh, for four weeks in total, two blocks of two weeks over Easter in first and third year. We just had myself and Ellen were just at the online Gaeltucht, which obviously isn't ideal. But normally you'd go down to a Gaeltucht college. So I was on Kloshd Odiron on an Ishmoor for my first year. And you go over there for two weeks. You have classes in the mornings and then fun activities in the afternoon. And it's not like the secondary school Gaeltucht at all. It's about your enjoyment, about your using the language in an informal way. And it's really, I know Ellen will vouch for me as well. It's really good fun. It's its not like the secondary school Gael talked at all. Um, I'll speak now about the classes, because I know when you see that there's 400 places on the course, because I initially was saying, I'd be like, oh my God, that's so many people. How am I going to make friends when there's so many people? Don't worry about it at all. The vast majority of classes that you do within the primary school teaching course are in small groups of around 20 to 35. And they're really hands-on. And I found that I met the majority of my friends in those classes. We sat beside each other on the first day, only knowing a handful of people I know. I knew no one coming in and they knew one or two people and now we're best mates. And you know, you will make those connections because of those small classes when you're working together, discussing something, um, talking about, you know, practical things, even just having a chat about, you know, where's good for coffee or anything like that. That's where you make those really good connections with people. And so if you don't know anyone, who's looking to study in DCU or in on the St. Patrick's campus, don't worry about it. It's those classes really give an opportunity for you to make friends and get to know people. Um, I'm just looking at the attendance list and I still can't see Catherine, so I'll keep talking for a little bit longer. Um, in terms of the course itself, you're divided up into studying the curriculum areas of the, con of the primary school curriculum. So you're looking at English, Irish, maths, and all the other subjects like geography, history, uh, SPHE, everything like that. Then you also look at some theoretical aspects. So that would be the likes of sociology, uh, psychology, early childhood education, philosophy, things like that. So there's a really good balance between the practical and the theoretical aspects of primary school teaching. Um, we, um, oh, I've drawn a blank. Um, we're just waiting on Catherine now. I'm just having a look in and apologies again for the technical difficulties. If anyone has any questions, please let us know through the chat. Uh, I just answered one of the questions earlier about someone on the St. Patrick's campus one, or wondering if you can use all facilities on other campuses on the St. Patrick's campus. You absolutely can. As well as that, you can join any club or society within DCU. So that is another great way of getting to know people, not just from the St. Patrick's campus, but from other classes or from other courses within uh, the university. There's uh, clubs for any kind of sport you can think of, any topic you can think of. And if there isn't a club or society for a certain interest that you have, I can almost guarantee that there's enough students on either campus that there'll be enough interest to set up your own club or society. There were lots of them set up in the last couple of years and they've become really successful recently. 
they're a great way of getting to know people and develop other skills that you might not necessarily develop as much within the college. So such as leadership skills and organizational skills and things like that. And I just see we have Catherine now in the chat, in the call. So I will pass you back to Ellen who will introduce Catherine. Apologies, everybody, just a couple of minor technical difficulties there um, this morning, but um, thankfully Catherine is here with us now. And as I said, Catherine will be talking to us. She is the program chair of the Bachelor of Education, which is our primary school teaching um, program here in DCU. And she will be able to guide you through um, an overview of the course. And just to remember that myself and Owen are available to answer any questions in the Q&A box during the call. Apologies, I had slight technical difficulties um, this morning with um, uh, with logging on. I'm just going to share my screen with you. Um, okay, I think we're ready to go. Um, my name, as Ellen has said, is Catherine Furlong, and I am chair of the Bachelor of Education program in DCU. And the Bachelor of Education qualifies our students to teach at primary level. Um, from junior infants right up to including sixth class, not just nationally, but internationally. Um, we're situated, uh, I'm sure you're aware that Dublin City University has three campuses, Glasnevin, uh, St. Patrick's campus and All Hallows campus. We're situated on the St. Patrick's campus. And I think a question that often comes to us um, at open days or indeed uh, if we're at career fairs is, are you St. Pat's or are you the Church of Ireland? And the reality is that neither the Church of Ireland um, nor St. Patrick's College have gone away. In fact, we have come together um, with a new DCU BA degree on the St. Patrick's site that has been offering teacher education um, since slightly before my time um, in 1875. In 2016, we became fully incorporated into DCU and we are part of the first faculty of education in Ireland, which you would have heard about if you were at the session earlier. In terms of the B.Ed degree, as I said, it is a level eight degree. It is four years in duration and it qualifies students to teach at primary level in Ireland and abroad. Now, it is really the first step on a journey for a primary school teacher. It's the initial teacher education. And it's not the only route to becoming a primary school teacher. The other route is a postgraduate route and it's a professional master's in primary education. And um, for that entry route, you need to have a degree already at a level of a 2-1 and you still need the requirements in English, Irish and maths. And for a practicing teacher, once you've qualified and moved into the system, you will engage with induction and in service and possibly postgraduate work. In terms of our program, we're very much about responding to change. We're very much moving away, obviously, from that old picture there to the newer picture there about working in small groups, child-centered, active learning, group work, and participation. It's a four-year degree, as I said, level eight, recognized internationally, newly accredited, and we have extended courses in areas of national priority, particularly in literacy and numeracy and the STEM subjects. This pie chart represents our program in its entirety. And I go through each section in turn. The large orange section is the education courses that our students undertake within the program. The mustard or ochre part of the pie chart represents school placement. The green area represents elective areas. And the brownie area is Gweltach. So I'll take each of those in turn. In terms of core education, what does that mean? If you think about a primary school teacher, regardless of what class that you're teaching, you will be responsible for teaching an array of subject areas that include English, Irish, maths, history, geography, PE, visual arts, music, 
drama, science education. So all of those areas you will encounter on our program, how to teach those areas to the various classes and what's contained in the curriculum. However, to teach those areas, you will also need modules in, for example, digital learning. So how do we use digital technology to support learning in the classroom? We'll also have to learn about assessment. How do we assess children's learning as a teacher? That's vitally important. Not just knowing what to teach the children, but to assess whether they have achieved it. And if they haven't, to utilize that assessment data to plan to support that child's or children's learning further. You will also undertake courses in special education, early childhood education, in the foundation disciplines of sociology, psychology and philosophy. So just to take one of those areas, psychology, and if you think about that for a minute, our teachers need to know about the psychology behind teaching and learning. We need to understand, our students need to understand how children learn at various stages of their development, because that will influence about what I do in the classroom with the children in front of me. They will also, you will also uh, engage in modules in educational disadvantage, inclusion and more. So they're the core education elements of the program and all of our students, regardless of pathway of entry, will engage in those in each of the four years of the program. The other biggest component element of that pie chart was school placement. Working in schools, different types of schools, working alongside teachers, observing teachers, and obviously getting an opportunity to teach. In each of the four years of our B.Ed. programme in DCU, our students engage in placement. In first year, our students engage in placement at home. So they choose their own school for placement. And this is down the junior end of the school. So junior infants, senior infants, first and second class because that ties in with the core education modules that they would do in first year. There's three weeks of placement in first year. In second year, our students engage in placement again. This time, the college chooses the placement and we choose schools for our students relative to where they're staying in the greater Dublin area. And this time, not at the junior end of the school, but at the senior end of the school. So we're talking about third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. In third year, our students have a full semester on placement. So from September to December in third year, our students engage in three different blocks of placement and the students choose this placement themselves. The first block of placement is in four weeks in a junior setting. So junior infants again up to second. The next block of placement is a special education placement. And this is a placement that students find really, really rewarding because the vast majority of our students would have no experience of that setting. So our students work either in a special school or in a special class attached to a mainstream primary school or works with a special education teacher within a mainstream primary school. And the last block of placement in third year is in the senior end of the primary school. So third, fourth, fifth or sixth. In fourth year, the placement is of 10 weeks duration and it happens in the second semester of fourth year and again this is chosen by the college and at that point you could have any class on placement by virtue of the fact that over the previous three years you will have an opportunity to teach at all class levels. 
it's important to point out that if you're coming from a Grelsko or you're coming from the Grelthacht area, there is an opportunity for you to engage in your placement in a Grelsko, whether that be of your own choosing in first year and third year or chosen by us in second year or fourth year. The other area then in that pie chart was the element of student choice. And this depends on the pathway of entry. There are three main pathways open to students in the next academic year. And the pathway will somewhat determine the element of student choice. The pathways are DC002, DC003, and DC004. Just to take those in turn, DC002 is the general entry pathway. And through that entry pathway, we take approximately 400 students. DC003 is a restricted entry pathway, and it is restricted to those in the Gweltacht area determined by the Department of Education and Science. The final pathway is DC004. And again, that is a restricted pathway to those of a Church of Ireland faith. So three pathways, DC002, DC003, and DC004. The main pathway being DC002 and the restricted pathways of DC003 for Gwelthacht entry and DC004 for Church of Ireland entry. All of our students, regardless of pathway, engage in those education courses I spoke of initially. In first year, those that enter through DC004 will engage in Church of Ireland religious education. If you enter through DC002 and DC003, you have a choice to engage in Catholic religious education or none. So that's the student choice in first year. And students also get a choice of studying foundation studies in humanities and science. So they can choose um, history, geography, maths, music for their own professional development. These are not school related modules. These are modules that students take in first year uh, that are interest to them, that are increasing their subject content knowledge in these areas, but they're not school related. At the end of first year, so that's the choice. If you enter through DC002 or DC003, you have a choice of studying Catholic religious education or not. If you enter through DC004, you have a choice of foundation studies in humanities and science, but you must study the Church of Ireland religious education modules. At the end of first year, our students will choose if you come through DC002 or 003, an educational specialism. DC004 students engage in an educational specialism in teaching in small and multi-grade settings. But all of our students entering the B.Ed. 2 will engage in a specialism for years two, three, and four. What does that actually mean? In second year, there are two modules in your specialism. In third year, there are two modules in your specialism, <coughs> excuse me. And in fourth year, there is one module in your specialism. This allows our students to have an in-depth understanding in an area of their 
choosing. And it allows them when they go to the jobs market into a school to lead that area. They will have the expertise and the knowledge and the skill to lead that area. And it could be in physical education, it could be in science education, it could be in English, it could be in maths, it could be in Grelge, it could be in digital technology. And that's one of the reasons our DCU programme is a more attractive, I would say, but I'm biased, uh, uh, option uh, for those that wish to enter uh, primary teacher education. We are the only provider that offers students the qualification to teach at all class levels, but this additional specialism, which allows you beyond your B.Ed to lead a specific area in a primary school. The other area, and just to go back to this uh, pie chart, I said there the other area is the Gwaeltacht area. And regardless of where you study your B.Ed in Ireland, all students are required under the DES and the Teaching Council regulations to engage in four weeks in the Gwaeltacht. And our students engage with that in first year for two weeks and again in third year for two weeks. In terms of entry requirements, as I said, DC 004 is a restricted entry pathway for Church of Ireland faith. DC 003 is a restricted entry for those coming from the Gwelthach. And the general entry route is DC 002. I know you're sitting there in front of me listening and wondering, you know, what will what points entry for the next year? Uh, I really don't know. It is really based on supply and demand. But of what I can tell you for our first years that came in this year, the cutoff point was 491 points with the requirements in English. Irish and maths. So why DCU? One, it's open to all students. It prioritizes areas such as education disadvantage, special educational needs. We are within our B.Ed degree responding to national priorities in maths, literacy and science. We are recognized as a center of excellence in all areas of primary teaching. We are very much student-centered and we do have good staff-student relationships. I know maybe when you heard the number 400, you might have gulped and said, oh my goodness, that's a really big class. But I can reassure you in terms of how we interact with our students, it is in small workshop settings by and large. Because by engaging our students in these small workshop settings, we can model how we expect those students to engage with children when they go out to the primary school classroom. The other thing that I didn't mention that makes us different apart from the specialism and all uh, in terms of our expertise is that in third year, our students have an opportunity to travel abroad on Erasmus courses for a full semester, to go to partnership universities that link in with their specialism. For example, some of our students go to Stravanger in Norway because they are experts in outdoor physical education. Some of our, some of our students choose to go to Charles University in Prague because they're experts in music education. So that is another opportunity for you. In terms of primary teacher education, and this is where my bias totally shows, I think you couldn't make a better choice. It's a very rewarding career. It's not an easy job. There's no point in me telling you that. But if you have an interest in making a difference in the lives of children, primary teacher education, offers you that opportunity. Thanks for listening to me this morning.
Thanks for that, Catherine. And um, that was a lovely overview of the whole course. And I feel like lots of things are covered there. And uh, we did have a couple of questions coming in. And I think uh, myself and Oman managed to get back to most of them. But um, just to let everybody know that we will be answering questions on Pubble all day until half four. And um, so if you have any questions, you can find the link to that. And um, I think Owen has put it in the chat. So um, you'll be able to ask some more questions over there and we'll be able to keep going.